right, so what was the most competitive game in the gauntlet this summer? Um, I would have to say the Game Elite, uh, Game Elite Gold team. Um, we played them twice already. Uh, one time, one time was in the gauntlet where we lost by four. That was like our only loss in that first session. Um, then we played them uh, recently, about two weeks ago, in our own event. They had came down to Houston. Um, platform. The platform. Uh -huh. uh, it was a really good team. We got five guys in the top 100. Right, right, right. A couple five stars. Got a five star point guard going to Kentucky. Um, it was really fun matching up with him. And, um, and they came to Houston, so I really wanted to put on a show for Houston, um, have the cities back, and we ended up taking the win at the end. And um, I felt like I, I played my matchup. And um, yeah, so that was, that was a really competitive game. How's your summer going with Basketball University? Um, it's been an unbelievable summer, unbelievable start so far. Um, our team had a really great showing uh, to start the spring. We're winning a lot of games, guys having a lot of success personally. Um, it's probably one, of, probably around the best basketball I've played in a really long time. And uh, I'm just having a lot of fun with it. So I've been following you since your freshman year. What part of your game do you think has transformed the most since your commitment to AM? Um, I have to say defensively, definitely. Um, something that coaching staff at AM and uh, my my dad and the coaching staff at Houston Christian really mm -hmm. emphasized to me ever since freshman year. Um, that was just something that that I had to get better at in order to play at the right. next level at the SEC. Right. And with doing that, I had to be able to pick up pick up the ball full court, um, disrupt offenses, and um, just be be able to pest on that side of the basketball. And um, also, with that being, um, I was primarily focused on scoring the basketball um, mm -hmm. at a younger age. And um, I've got, now that I'm getting older and maturing in my game, I've also noticed that I'm um, being able to an elite player and growing in my game, they have to learn how to get others involved as well. Right. Um, yeah, have to be right. okay with getting a 20 assist game with like six points. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, 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 those games are really fun. Yeah. And um, also being okay with, um, Again, a game where I have to score 30 points if that's what my team needs. And um, now I have the mindset of I'm trying to get a triple-double every game. Cool, cool. So I would say those were the areas where my game grew. Do you feel like the performance against the Showcase Dallas squad helped you in going into the summer would be you? Um, I think it definitely did. Um, I think it just helped uh, build momentum for me um, as far as just like my confidence um, coming off something like that, that prestigious of an event and playing well out there. Right. Um, and then that helping my brand as well, um, getting my name out there. Exactly. And um, as a player, if, you're, if you know your name is popping around, that kind of gives that kind of gives you an extra boost, um, like self-confidence and um, knowing that you want to go out there and play well. So I would say that gave me a real boost of confidence going into the summer. You're averaging 8.7 assists with the Adidas Gauntlet, 53.7 from the field. State champion, what more needs to be done for you to, you know, earn respect, get the respect on your name? Um, I just feel like playing that, at, that, uh, at that level, at the highest level consistently um, throughout the rest of this summer um, and going out to different camps and, and things like that and just performing as best as I can. Um, Especially since uh, last last uh, last AAU season, kind of was like an up and down type, coming from injury and things like that. Um, so just being out, going out there this year and show um, that I can stay at that level um, and, and possibly outplay those guys who are in front of me right. um, at those camps where there are like scouts and, and people who have an opinion in the basketball community today. So, um, um, that, and that's what I just really want to focus on. Uh, that's what I feel like I have to prove, just going out there and, and getting at those guys who are just high, who are rated higher than I am right now. How would you fare against your father in his prime? <laughs> I don't know. Trying to yeah. cook? I mean, he's good. He makes your chicken palm. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's nice. That's his signature that's, dish? Yeah, it's his go-to. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, 
uh, yeah, my parents are really big on that, how we eat, how we take care of our bodies and stuff like that. Um, they've always been very like that, make sure we eat our vegetables and fruits. Um, that's probably kind of the reason why um, I'm in condition the way I am. Um, just certain kids I see around just eating whatever. Right. It's not really helping you at all, not helping your body. And um, I kind of...